Hi everyone. Let's go straight to the question here. This was contributed by one of our viewers. Yvonne, Louis and Pamela had some sweets. Yvonne had 30 more sweets than Louis. The ratio of the number of sweets Louis had to the number of sweets Pamela had was 1 is to 4. After Yvonne gave one-fifth of her sweets to Louis, Louis had 50 fewer sweets than Pamela. Find the total number of sweets they had at first. So when we look at this question, um, they had some sweets, but clearly here, Yvonne had 30 more sweets than Louis. So this is a comparison statement. And in this comparison, Louis comes after more than. So Louis is our reference right now. So let's draw a model for Louis. So one box for Louis. And for Yvonne, Yvonne had 30 more sweets than Louis. So the same box first plus additional 30. So this is what Yvonne has. Then and there is another uh, comparison here. The ratio of the number of sweets Louis had to the number of sweets Pamela had was 1 is to 4. So Louis, if he had 1 unit, Pamela would have 4 units. So that is what 1 is to 4 is uh, showing us here. After Yvonne gave 1 fifth of her sweets to Louis. So if we talk about 1 fifth, this is what Yvonne is giving to Louis. And when you do that, we have to take note, we have an unknown portion and a known portion. So when we apply one-fifth, we have to apply them separately, once for the unknown part and then for the known part. So for example, we will divide this unknown part into five parts and one part will be given to Louis. And 30, similarly, the 30 is an unknown part. So, one-fifth of 30 is equal to 6. And 30 minus 6 is 24. So, we are going to divide this into 24 and 6. Because 6 is going to go down to Louis. And in addition to that, this one unit here will go down to Louis. So, that's that. And now, there were five units here. And this is of the same size, which means this will also be equal to 5 units. And that means this also is 5 units, and the rest is also 5 units each. So totally here we had 4, now 4 times 5 is 20 units here. And what happened after Yvonne gave one fifth of her sweets to Louis? Louis had 50 fewer sweets than Pamela. So, Louis had 50 fewer sweets than Pamela, which means that this difference here should be 50, because Louis had 50 less than Pamela. And we also know that this portion here is equal to 56, because it includes the 6. So, it doesn't matter. Don't worry about whether this is... Uh, equal to this or you don't have to worry about all that because this size is arbitrarily put here. We don't even know if 6 is going to be here or it comes up to here. All we know is that in, if I include the 6, then it is 56 and 6 starts here. So I take that as a reference and say 56. And this is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 14 units is equal to 56, which means one unit is equal to 56 divided by 14, which is 4. So we find that one unit is 4, and the question is asking, find the total number of sweets they had at first. So at first they had, for example, Pamela had 20 units. If we count this, it is up to 20. And then we have a 6 here, 26 plus 4 is 30 units. And 30 units plus 24 plus 6. Or the other way of looking at is we already know that this is 56. So 56 plus, you can count these units plus this actual thing as well. So let's just go with the easier one. B 
we will take all these 20 units plus 6 here and 4 here. So that is 30 units plus 24 plus 6 is 30. 30 units plus 30 is equal to and you know that 1 unit is 4. So 4 times 30 plus 20. That is equal to 120 plus 30 which is equal to 150. So that is the total number of suites that they had at first. Now I am going to solve this problem using algebra. Yvonne, Louis, Pamela had some suites. Yvonne had 30 more suites than Louis. The ratio of the number of suites Louis had to the number of suites Pamela had was 1 is to 4. After Yvonne gave one fifth of her suites to Louis, Louis had 50 fewer suites than Pamela. Find the total number of suites they had at first. Now, in this case, the same as what we did before, there is a comparison between Yvonne and Louis. Yvonne had 30 more suites than Louis, so Louis is our reference. So let's say Louis, the number of suites with Louis is x, which means Yvonne is going to have x plus 30 suites. Now the ratio of the number of suites Louis had to the number of suites Pamela had was 1 is to 4. So if this is 1x for Louis, Pamela would have 4 times what that of Louis which is 4x. Now we come here. After Yvonne gave one fifth of her suites to Louis, so Yvonne has this much and one fifth of that is given to Louis. So first let's write down Louis. So Louis right now has x number of suites. In addition to that, she is going to get one fifth of x plus 30. So that is what Yvonne is giving to Louis. And in this case, Pamela, right now, she has 4x and there is no change in the number of suites that she has. But if you compare, Louis had 50 fewer suites than Pamela, which means Pamela had 50 more than Louis. Now I want to get an equation. If I want to make an equation, then both sides have to be equal. Right now, Louis is 50 less than Pamela. So what I need to do is add 50 to Louis so that this equal equality is valid. So I need to do this for making this into an equation. Now, with this can be written as 50 over 1 plus x over 1 plus x by 5 plus 30 over 5 equal to 4x. But I want to make the denominators the same. So in this case, I will have to multiply this by, say in this case, I'm going to multiply this by times 5 times 5. Same for x also, times 5 times 5, so that the denominator will all become equal. So now this becomes 250 by 5 plus 5x by 5 plus x over 5 plus 30 over 5 is equal to 4x. And so this 5 is common for all of them. So I can write this as 250 plus 5x plus x is 6x, 6x plus 30 divided by 5 is equal to 4x and this four, 5 can be brought over this side cross multiplication that gives us and when we do that here again the numerator 250 plus 30 will become 280 so 280 so let me continue here 280 plus 6x is equal to 20x. So 280, 6x, when you bring over here, that becomes minus 6x. So the answer here for that 20 minus 6 is 14x is equal to 280. So how much is x? x is equal to 280 divided by 14. That is equal to 20. 
So x is equal to 20. And now the question is find the total number of suites they had at first. We know these are what they had at first 4x plus x is 5x plus another x from Yvonne is 6x. So 6x plus 30. The total they had was 6x plus 30. And we know that x is equal to, we know that x is equal to uh, 20 from here. So 6 times 20, 120 plus 30, which becomes 150. So this is how we can solve this using algebra. Hope this was useful. The next question is, Xavier had 35 sweets at first. After he gave some sweets to Ben, the ratio of the number of sweets Xavier had to the number of sweets Ben had was 4 is to 3. Given that the ratio was 5 is to 3 at first, find the number of sweets Ben had in the end. Now this might look a bit complicated, but actually this is one of the easiest problems. See, Xavier, Xavier had 35 sweets. We already know how much, how many sweets Xavier had. And what was the ratio at first? 5 is to 3. That is, let's say Xavier. Let me change the color to white so that it's visible more. So Xavier, Xavier, is to pen. Right? Their ratio at first was 5 is to 3 and we at that time we already know Xavier had 35 sweets because after he gave some sweets the ratio changed to 4 is to 3 but in the beginning it was 5 is to 3 and Xavier had 35 sweets which means this 5 units here that 5 units is equal to 35. So one unit will be 35 divided by 5 which is 7. So in the end let's say Xavier is to Ben. Xavier had 4 units, Ben had 3 units. So that total of this comes to 7 units. This total here is equal to the total here. So in this case, we have 8 units. But see, Xavier is giving the sweets to Ben. So if we take the total of Xavier and Ben, their amount of sweets has not changed. The total has not changed. So the type of problem is total remains unchanged in this case. So first we have to figure out this 8 units, how much is that? 8 times 7, 8 units is 8 times 7, 56. So that is the total number of suites they have. Right now this is 7 units. So 7 units is equal to 56, the same, because there is no change. The unit sizes are different. That's why we have different ratio, but the total amount is the same. So one unit is equal to 56 divided by 7, oops, which is equal to 8. So one unit is equal to 8 and Ben had 3 units. So 3 units is equal to 3 times 8, which is equal to 24. So that's how we solve this problem. I hope this was useful. Thank you. Have a great day. Happy learning. Bye.